हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द एनालिसिस ऑफ एन एम्पलीफायर द एनालिसिस ऑफ एन एम्पलीफायर इज कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बिकॉज बोथ डीसी एंड एसी सोर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द सर्किट हेंस we have to calculate the effect of dc source and ac source separately and the total effect by using superposition theorem so the analysis of an amplifier is complicated because both dc and ac source are present in the circuit hence we need to calculate the dc source and ac source separately and then we need to calculate the total effect by using superposition theorem first let us understand the dc analysis in dc analysis first we need to calculate dc voltages and dc current so for example we need to calculate the current ib ic and the voltages vbe and vce and so on so to draw the dc equivalent circuit we need to open circuit all the capacitor then the remaining circuit is known as dc equivalent circuit in dc analysis first we need to calculate the dc voltages and dc current for example we can find ib ic vbe and vc to draw the dc equivalent circuit we need to open circuit all the capacitors then the remaining circuit is known as dc equivalent circuit for example if we consider this amplifier circuit for this amplifier circuit to perform the dc analysis we need to open circuit all the capacitor that are connected to the amplifier then the remaining circuit is known as the dc equivalent circuit so this is the amplifier circuit we have open circuited all the capacitor that are connected so remaining circuit is known as dc equivalent circuit now let us understand the ac analysis the ac analysis is done after dc analysis to draw an ac equivalent circuit we need to short circuit the capacitors and also we need to short circuit the dc voltage source and it is connected to ground then we need to replace the circuit with ac equivalent circuit in ac analysis we can calculate the voltage gain current gain input impedance and output impedance this is the example of ac equivalent circuit so for this amplifier circuit we have written an ac equivalent circuit for ac analysis so ac analysis is done after dc analysis here we need to short circuit all the capacitors and we need to short circuit the dc voltage source and we need to connect that to ground and then we need to replace this circuit with an ac equivalent circuit as you can observe from this diagram from this amplifier circuit we have short circuited the capacitor as well as the dc voltage source and that dc voltage source is connected to ground if we short circuit the capacitor across the emitter resistance this emitter resistance will be eliminated that's why that resistance is not written so this circuit is replaced by an ac equivalent circuit so here this part of the transistor in an ac equivalent circuit is represented by this part right so this is pi equivalent circuit so this part of the transistor is replaced by this part which is the pi equivalent circuit for that at the output side we have connected the collector resistance and load resistance and at the input side we have connected the resistor r1 r2 along with the ac voltage source so this is how we can write the circuit for ac analysis this is an example for voltage divider bias 
So, this is the example for two supply emitter bias amplifier. In this circuit, the capacitor is short circuited and the DC voltage source is short circuited and connected to ground. From this, we have written the AC equivalent circuit. For this AC equivalent circuit, we can calculate voltage gain, current gain, input impedance and output impedance. This is about analysis of an amplifier. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.